it allows visitors to actually go back in time, back in 1943, on board of a Lancaster to experience a dam buster raid. We are hoping that visitors who come and experience the dam buster virtual reality set, that they will come away with an, a better understanding of what it must have been like. Some will get um, the, 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 the almost claustrophobic aspect of it. Others will appreciate better the, uh, the bravery that these young men had to go through. Um, others will be more interested in the technical side. So there's a little bit for everyone, really. It was unique in that it was an extremely audacious raid carried out at low level, right into the heart of Germany, at night, to attack major targets which the Germans thought were invulnerable, namely dams which supplied water for the German industry in the industrial Ruhr. They were using a revolutionary weapon developed by Dr. Barnes Wallace that had to be dropped precisely at 60 feet at 230 miles an hour over water to bounce across the lake and impact the dam where it would sink and then detonate in contact with the dam and hopefully one bomb would actually breach the dam. Uh, I'm the niece of Hoppy, Flight Lieutenant John Veer Hopgood, who was pilot of M Mother and second in command for the Dam Busters raid. They flew very low through the night and Guy Gibson had the element of surprise, but all the guns were pointed on Hoppy's M Mother when he arrived and he had to wait 10 minutes for the water to subside and then he was just a sitting duck and every gun was at him, and uh, the, the plane, the Lancaster, was jolting with all the gunfire, and his bomb actually missed the target, skipped over and hit the, the power station on the other side. But the explosion of the power station um, put, meant that most of the guns were knocked out, and so it was much easier for those coming after him. And he was the only plane shot down at the Myrna Dam, but he did manage to keep it flying at a high enough altitude for two of his crew to survive with their lives. My great, great uncle Arthur Buck was a rear gunner in the third wave of the Dam Busters raid. On the Dam Busters raid, they didn't actually drop their bomb. They were heading for the Sorper Dam and they didn't drop. As we know, there's only one surviving Dam Buster left and so these stories are, are dying out and we're just not getting, I think people growing up today may not quite get the gravitas of uh, what these men went through.